For many cancer patients, getting the best treatment often means having to be far away from home, and that, as we know, because people have been telling us, can be so draining, both financially and emotionally, simply exhausting. But there is a place, it's called Hope Lodge. There are about 30 or so all around the country where those fighting cancer can stay for free. And for survivors like my friend Sherry Matthews and others, it is a sanctuary away from home during a very, very difficult time. How you been? Oh, great. In many ways, Sherry Matthews is the face of breast cancer. At 43, she went in for her yearly mammogram, feeling healthy, happy, and that same day received a shocking diagnosis of stage three breast cancer that would turn every aspect of her life inside out. The doctor said, <clears throat> you know, if I were you, I wouldn't think about going anywhere else right now. I'd think about getting this taken care of. But Sherry had just moved to New York from North Carolina and had a brand new temp job and had nowhere to go. The hospital found room for her at Hope Lodge, a home away from home providing free lodging, counseling, and encouragement for cancer patients. How long have you been here at Hope Lodge? Um, I've been here a little over a month. I had just completed my treatment in April when I first met Sherry at Hope Lodge. I knew the journey that was in front of her. So you're, you're about to begin chemotherapy? Chemo starts Monday. Starts Monday, and this is Friday. Starts Monday. And I'm scared. Oh, <laughs> and I'm so glad to meet you. Six months later, Sherry's chemo over, I check in with her again. Hope Lodge has been a godsend for me. I mean, this is my second family. You know, the staff and just um, the people that come through these doors, all of us scared or fighting one thing or not, you know, one battle or another. What has been the hardest part for you? Well, with, without trying to get, let me just catch my breath. Here Certainly. For, for Certainly. a minute. It's, it's emotional for me. It's um, something you never want to hear, that you're going to lose your breast and that your lymph nodes are all cancerous. But everything so else. that's the only change? Yeah. Okay. It's something that doesn't just go away. And, and I think people have a misconception of that, that once you finish your chemos or once you finish, I haven't started radiation, but once you finish radiation, or it's all going to be over with. And I think for me, that's been the hardest part is accepting it and dealing with the depression that I've gone through. Sherry has learned to overcome tough times, volunteering at Hope Lodge, enjoying activities with the patients and just appreciating the small things, the strength, the smile of another keeps her whole. I share my own personal remedy to difficult times and that would be family and laughter. My sister, one sister used to call me Kimo Sabi <laughs> because, because I just, <laughs> and when I was going through it, I was much like that, Kimo Sabi. We realize this is perhaps the most powerful thing, the strength we get from others. Sherry shows me the gifts, cards, and care packages from friends and family back home in North Carolina, a key to her survival. And she tells me about Leslie, George, and Will, who flew to New York to join Sherry in the Making Strides for Breast Cancer Walk. At first, Sherry felt too weak, but in the end, she crossed the finish line with pride. You made it. We made it. And like her friends, I was able to help her keep her eye on another finish line. Your last day when you had finished your um, radiation and chemotherapy and everything, I was watching that and you had Ain't No Mountain High Enough and y'all were singing and yeah. dancing. <laughs> I had just been diagnosed. It's like all these emotions going through me, but I still felt hope. You can't look too far ahead and you can't, you can't really look back. You just have to stay focused. And I promise Sherry, when she completes her treatment, I'm going to be there and I'm going to sing Ain't No Mountain High Bring Enough. Bring her here. Yes. You come here, Sherry. Mm -hmm. We're all going to sing to the top of our voices, top yeah. of our lungs. And this is entirely privately funded? It donations? is. It is. It's, it's through uh, the American Cancer Society. There are about 30 or so around the country. And some of the best health care are in larger cities, which mm -hmm. is so expensive if you're going to try to get an apartment oh, or a hotel or something like that. But it, it's, it's more than just the lodging. It's looking sure. in each other's eyes 
everyone understands what you're going through. And it is, it is just fabulous. I have fallen in love with Hope Lodge. And she's and been there Sherry. Six, six months. months. Yeah. Good and for them. You, and you can find out more about Hope Lodge and connect with our On Call Plus Breast Cancer Resource Center at abcnews.com.